Todd. Click the sub. Click the follow. Stay tuned. Because we got plenty of good action ahead of us. And especially like, with this matchup right now between two really good players. These boys are going to go right into it. Ralphie versus Juice, I feel, is going to be a really entertaining match today. Just because Ralphie, one of the more alert players to, like, Juice... Like, Juice's capabilities. Mm. Like, Juice, fairly well known, at least here in Tri-State, for being one of the most dominant players in, uh, in Pennsylvania. Oh my god. For reasons such as we've just like, seen. Like that, yeah. But you can't sleep on Ralphie, man. He's been he's been traveling, he's getting his name out there, people know who he is, and he's uh, one of the top clouds out there. So you definitely, you know, he's talked about House of 3004 reasons. He's definitely been able to prove his uh, value as a cloud, not even just here on the East Coast, but in the U.S. as a whole. Mm -hmm. And but it's not like it's like herd dirt DLC. This kid's got some skill, man. Don't sleep on him. Like, he uses cloud because he knows it works, and he pilots the character excellently. But coming off of a deficit the way that he is now, it's going to be a bit harder of working, especially if Up Smash decides to not clip behind. Further assert damage and a quick wow. dunk game one gonna go to Juice. Not even a stop taken from Ralphie. Yeah, Ralph looking like he like just plugged in, he's just waiting for the set to start. It's like, oh, it's over? Oh, well, it's game one. All, <laughs> All right. right. All right, word. Sticking with the mains. Let's see where we're going now. Right oh, yeah, back. they're not switching off their characters. It's, it's all a matter of how well, how well Ralphie can stop what just happened from happening once again. <laughs> Juice is just going to run right up for him now. Because at these earlier percentages, like, what's what, what's Ralphie really going to be able to do? Like, at early percentages like this, Juice can end an entire stock. He, he's, his aggression doesn't necessarily have an end point, while percentages sit a bit lower. But Ralphie, he gets a reversal option, he resets to neutral, he figures out the next step to his game plan. Like, Juice can afford to just, you know, like, run in there, because the reward is so high based off uh, the risk. Oh my god! Read the jump option. Ralphie not proud of it, but still in it. With 84% that he's got on Juice, he is able to turn this around if, if Juice decides it's time for this to be a two-player game. Oh no. All right. Let's see. Uh, Ralphie giving a hard time to let him back on stage. Ooh. Every option... Juice has had an answer for it so far. <laughs> Did not take advantage of it at all. To be fair, who's who's gonna expect you to, to down air like that? I mean, ultimately it didn't work out for Juice, but I mean, he, he didn't get punished immediately. But now, uh, of course, uh, Ralphie taking the stock this time around, but um, uh, with a 56% difference, it's, it's maybe a little rough. It's a little rough, but it's certainly not undoable. Of course. Just barely clicked with that up there. Juice is going to keep on trying to get the pressure up, but Ralphie turning it back on him gets the nair. No Ooh. falling up air this time. Oh, Ralphie in a little bit of trouble. You better watch out. Oh! What's the climb hazard? Optics <gasps> for going for it. Oh, for that's deep. it. A 2 0 -oh and Juice moving on. Juice flying through this back. All right. Uh, of course, it's it's speed run night tonight before uh, we go into ultimate. Look at this again. Look at clean this was stopped him. And forward smash. bam. Yeah, man. House. Maybe like that. O only here in New York do you get to see uh, su such elegant of ass beatings. Mm-hmm. New game, like it's like oh wow, they you beat. Yeah, it's just like you gotta take your whole conceptions of this game, toss them out the window. Um, but not just yet. We still have one last ride here at Cena. So, ride good using Cloud this time around. So there's um, so we got what, Marth, um, Bayo, and now Cloud. Someone's a fan of the meta. <laughs> um, but on that note, I'm actually very surprised that Raigo wouldn't opt for Bayonetta if he's trying to pick into meta plays. Just because at least out of the three characters we had just listed, I feel like Cloud has like the most even of a battle with Mega Man. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, Cloud is still able to oppress very well with his aerials, and he has no issue securing damage, but 
Like, Mega Man doesn't particularly have to respect a lot of what uh, Cloud brings to the table, and I feel like we'll see that throughout the entirety of this game one, possibly this set. Oh my goodness. Ark is uh, still continuing that little um, streak he's got there. He's been starting off very strong in every game. He wants to take this last Zeno. He, 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 I bet he feels like this is his time right now. Oh, that was, that was what I was going to say. If I couldn't get um, a Sage versus Dill Grand Finals, I want a new champion. Oh, my one God. The final, the final champion. The final uh, new champion. And then, of course, an ultimate comes out. Everyone's a new champion. Everyone's, Everyone's a, new a new champion. That'll be silly. <laughs> Ultimate's going to be a weird time. But we're not there yet. Not until Friday. Although, right now, it's looking like <gasps> Raigo wants to be oh. shooting a little too low with the uh, climb hazard. But even then, just to come back. Safe and sound. Unfortunately, King Ark does not want anything to do with that. Continues his relentless pressure. Doesn't even care for the up smash, too. Back air cleaning up Raigo. And we're going to go into game two on King Ark's terms. Yeah, King Ark, again, so so dominant so far in this tournament. And he has just been just so calm throughout the whole thing. He, like, this is the emotion of him right now. He's just stiff. He, like, not stiff, but he's, like, very stone-faced. He's very in the zone. Uh, he's looking he, confident. Yeah. This is his time to shine. He knows it. He's playing nice. He's letting loose with it. Game two is going to a tri-flat. I like that. I like that. I like that. That's it's, cute. Uh, it's Battlefield. Um, I get it, but <laughs> at the same time, you brought Mega Man to Battlefield, so I feel like Good what luck. happens next you asked for. Right yeah, I was there. gonna say it's gonna be a very rough ride, even for Cloud. Like yeah, Cloud makes amazing use of Battlefield. Some yeah. dare say one of the best characters to use Battlefield. Mm -hmm. uh, Mega Man is certainly no slouch at being able to hold center stage here. Yes. He's able to defend the castle incredibly well, and King Ark doesn't really have to commit too much to his options that allow him to play that kind of a style. If he manages to find his way to weave through the platforms without having to go to the ledge, it's going to constantly reset into the King Ark's favor, I feel. Raga hasn't really ever used Cloud's tools to as much advantage as I feel like he could. And that's, and that's another thing, just of note. Oh. Oh. Uh, we saw, right before Ryger found himself off stage, he had briefly grabbed the Metal Blade, but wasn't able to really do anything with that. And this is just a little note that I've always made against characters like Mega Man. Well, like, if they got an item, you gotta know how to use that against them. Mm -hmm. And that's something that doesn't just apply to this game. That's gonna apply to any Smash game yeah. that involves items. So maybe Smash 64. Uh, nonetheless. Now... Like you're saying, like, you, you always want to lab those. You always want to be prepared for any situation. Because, I mean, then again, like Mega Man is not really a common character. So, of course, you know, are you ever going to be prepared? Who knows in, in, in any Smash game if you're going to be prepared for it, especially with how bigger the roster is going to get with every game. However, uh, you know, Raigo, you know, he's still going to work in that Smash for the next game. But so far, he, they've both, both players, King Ark and Raigo, have been holding it down so far, now losing stock, and we're almost two minutes into the match. Yeah, both characters have just been very aware about how well they can move around the map. And it's a very important factor of battlefields. Like, King Ark has given respect to where Cloud can position himself. Oh. Raiga still <laughs> needs to learn how to respect that back air, though, or yeah. else he's catching those claws over and over and over again. It made me kind of wish that it just would have, they both would have lost their stock that way. But I know that wouldn't be possible. Yo, if Mega Man lost his stock at like 140 from that side of the stage with was that back air? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It no. would have happened, but it's definitely still... would have canceled this whole game. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely like, not trying to see Mega Man die. Remember that there. ceremony of we we burial we're gonna have? We're just gonna do that now. Just, we're just gonna pack it all up now. Forget the rest of the tournament. Just burn it down. <laughs> throw the whole game in the trash. So now, Rank, of course, had a little bit of a deficit, having a little trouble to getting the stock off Mega Man, but of course, you know, Battlefield helping out both players keeping their, their stocks alive for a very long time. That's what I was saying. Not only can Mega Man's tools be used really well for holding on to the stage, but he survived to 180, and it took a strong hit in order to get rid of that stock. I forget. I'm a commentator's curse machine, aren't I? Yeah, you have a good, <laughs> a good way about reading what's going to happen next. 
but uh, oh my gosh, are we gonna see the, um, the, the young JV there? 86, and then, 89. still coming back to the stage. All right, very smart of Ryu to just get himself Ooh. back there. There we go, no JV, but still a lot of work to be done. Off stage, like no tough. limit. He's got to be very careful. Oh, oh my goodness. Magnet hands helping out. New York just gets too antsy with his uh, down airs. All right, so Riker has him just where he wants him. Oh, but he's just able to get back off stage as King Arc. Holding center stage now. Up Air City. Yeah, it's a, it's grim. Now that with limit is... Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Got the last hit, but not enough yet. Yeah, nah. All right. I like it. No, that's it. That could have saved him. Okay. Wow. Out of all, but of, after all that, bit of a funky end to the game, but hey. So now hey. King Ark in in winners finals. And he's gonna find his opportunity to fight Juice, and we get treated wow. to a very rare matchup. Mega Man and Zero Suit is you, you don't often see those two characters outside of like really large regionals or majors because. Very few notable Mega Mans and very few notable Zero Suits occupy the same regions. Mm -hmm. Body to me. Baz, but oof. I had to come out for the last match before Zero Suit. I feel like, dude, this is like the finale. You know what's embodying me? That curry chicken I just ate, dog. Like, I don't know if you saw me on, <laughs> on. I don't know if you saw me on the webcam, but I was I was chowing down. Oh yeah, you you were. I ate the whole thing, and I'm, I feel like I'm gonna explode. But here we go, Raiga, fighting off against Fury's Falcon. Now Fury, I always like the, I, I, I always hype this guy up. I feel like he's been like the uh, Nick C replacement ever since Nick C kind of like stopped coming to Xeno for Smash 4. He's actually here today. Just you wanted to come for the finale. Yeah. But uh, Fury's been on the up and coming. I feel like he's another player that's improved so much, just like that. You know, he's been improving that down throw to me. I mean, don't really, not, not the hardest thing in the world like, to connect, I guess. But Word. still, he got it. He got yo, the grab. Yo, it's almost like how like in F Zero, Falcon, like the title of Captain Falcon gets passed down. I don't know if that's spoilers for anyone intending to read the manga. How dare you? Yeah. How dare I? No, but uh, yeah, but, like, it's like Nick C, but now he's going to have to give it back for a win, ultimately. So. Or they'll fight for it. Yeah. Who knows? We'll see. Either way, Raiga fighting off against <laughs> Fury. <laughs> he walked away from that tilt. That was, that was sick. <laughs> I like it. He looked at these buttons. He was like, just say no. Yeah. Just get that out of here. <laughs> <laughs> see, you can move him if you pull the chair. <laughs> All right. We're going back into this match, and we're going back into Raika completely we're, we're, eating we're, me. We're not going back into that match. That match has just been obliterated. We got to go. No, hold on. I gotta, there it is. I got I to gotta send a tweet real quick, letting, <laughs> letting people know. I keep forgetting the tweet that, hey, I'm commentating at Xeno, and people just don't even realize that this is happening. Right see, now. I, have, I have, like, beyond cursed luck. If I start yeah. the tweet while I, while I have the headset on, I'll never get a chance to, to actually press the button. So I do it I hours in the Hours. So we're going into game two. It was a very grim scene for Raika, but he is opting to stick with the Marth. Curious, as we have seen him pick up some multiple characters so far with his time on stream, and presumably throughout the bracket tonight. He switched into Bayonetta, which allowed him to get a win on Dill. And we saw him also switch to Cloud, which did not work out for him against King Arc. But I feel like either of those characters could also offer a bit of help in this situation, as Yuri has been able to run wild. And this Marth is he's just getting the job done, but I don't know, man. He's, he's got to do a little more confidently. That's right. <laughs> Say words. I was, yeah. I was trying. I was distracted. All right, here we go. Um, so Falcon's off stage, and now he's back on. Jumped onto that platform. There could have been an opportunity for Raya to be doing a phenomenal job of just keeping him off there, not allowing him to get any sort of stage control whatsoever. Very unorthodox after Goose to do it. He went for a second one. He's been going for that a lot tonight. I've noticed. And if I remember correctly, Fury has no issue with using Raptor Boost just to, to do it. But, I don't know, man. If he does it about seven or eight times, it'll work out. But if you back air, sometimes that's all you need. And Fury asserts his dominance in this set further and further. I, I find it almost impressive that Raiga has struggled to end out stocks with this mark. He's done a great job with being able to pressure his opponents and... He, can, he kept Fury at the ledge for quite a significant amount of time. 
I respect that up air. I, the reason I respect it is because it could have been a potential edge guard against Raiga. A potential gift could have happened. He died for it, so you know he's, yeah. he's got to come back into the second stock, uh, arm swinging. You know. I mean, given how Fury faces things off with Falcon, like ending out the stock of the percentage he was at is not not bad at all, especially while he does maintain the percentage lead up. Ooh, he's looking for that up air. He wants that knee conversion afterwards. Yeah, he's looking to just move on, get going, fight the winner of Ralphie and Bell. Very greedy forward smash coming out from Braga. Fury's gonna take that all the way. Not to the blast zone just yet, seeing at 95%, one down air away from being sent into out of the tournament. He's deep. I mean, he's coming back. That was deep. Caught the jump out of shield. Raiga's coming back with a vengeance. Oh, that could have been an opportunity for a punish. Seems the Raptor is coming. Please. Big punish. As I'm off stage, he's caught by the Falcon Dive. Good tech could have easily turned that into something. Another tech, but too low. What? He dropped it. What? And Raiga's final Smash 4 performance is going to be ending out fifth place. It's Thank not you. a bad run, but a bit questionable, I feel. I, it, man, he was just... Right there, he. I think he was hoping to like maybe catch him a little bit lower and maybe just go for like a end it all spike, but then Fury was just too high in the air, so he just kind of drifted off to his death. Yeah. Maybe he thought he had a double jump as well. It could have been not the thing under orthodox. I know Dill was ready to come into this to try to win like the final Xeno to at least be like one win away from winning the most Xenos, but unfortunately, the title's already been granted to the kill stage. He missed it by two. If he wins this one, then by one. <laughs> As, as a big Jill Sage fan, this makes me pleased. You can't, you can't take that away from him. Yeah. He will forever be sick, man. He's actually there in the background, hovering over Dill, watching the match. <laughs> it's great. It's All like right. his spirit in waiting. So this matchup's going to go a lot of ways, right? Because uh, Dill's entire game plan is that he wants to get that banana peel. He wants to get on the stage and just mess with Cloud. Get Cloud off stage as fast as possible. And just do some extra damage to him, make sure he does not get back. Now, Ralphie right there. Played a really good, did a really good job of like guarding that banana, prevented Dill from trying to jump into the fray, get it back, and start playing all all's monkey business. Yeah, these two guys have played each other time and time and time again. In fact, Dill, one of the players who really is the reason why Ralphie was able to make such an explosive growth in the New York City. They are father and son. That is true. And I feel like no better than these two are like how well they know each other's habits. They know what they, they know the game plan of their characters. They know the game plan of the players. They know the habits well. They know what they're gonna do with each stage. So there's very few uncertainties when it comes to the factors in this match. It really comes down to execution and then, you know, the ever-present X factor of Smash 4. There he goes, landing down with that back air, trying to sit now Cloud likes to play around the opponent's shields, right? Because he's just really good at breaking the shields. Doesn't even matter. Go for it. Just goes for the cross touch because he knows a forward air is coming his way. Just to get Dill off of him. Nice catch on that ledge jump with a back air. Gonna send him to the blast zone. First stock going to Dill or Ralphie. And immediately retreating to the platforms, trying to get some limit charged up. Ralphie in no particular rush to approach, but with limit on that, he's able to get around there if he can get himself back to the stage, which he's not gonna be able to he do. Burned his limit trying to challenge Dill. It maybe went for like a cross slash or something, but it was just a hair too late. Dill snuffed it out completely with a forward air. Now we have ourselves a one stock match, and Ralphie's doing a great job of just jumping off of those platforms, charging limit, using those platforms to his advantage because Ralphie's. He's got the high ground, you know? That's what Obi-Wan Kenobi told me, is that if you got the high ground, you can't win. And now the platforms are gone, and now Dill suddenly getting some momentum, gaining some steam. Now, let us hope that unlike Obi-Wan, Ralphie doesn't disappear into a pile of ropes. Um, I can't really see this, like, I can't see there being too much of a swing in the momentum here. Ralphie has been doing a good job of staying evasive, like you mentioned, but Dill has been very patient. Every time he loses the banana, he's like, all right, I'll just get it again. I just need to wait. And he's even baiting Ralphie to pick up the banana, and then he just gets to punish for him for picking it up. And I feel like that goes in with the factor that like they know each other's habits. They're going to play around that. So they're both going to do unconventional things that normally you know, wouldn't work if you try to just play the cloud matchup or the Diddy Kong matchup. You really have to play into what the player's habits are. Okay, playing super patient. Ralphie staying calm, waiting for Dill to make the first move. He has the banana peel, so he has to respect it. There's a back edge guard opportunity. No, good, great spacing coming out from Ralphie. Dill doing a lot of retreating aerials, just trying to stay away from that sword. Just goes for the raw monkey flip. Just command grab in the middle of neutral. 
good observation from Dill just because he realizes that Ralph is moving uh, with shields like very often, but he's not sticking around in shields. So, of course, the best way to check that is to throw out a quick grab, but you can't be throwing around grabs when you're really against Cloud, or else you're expecting your stock to get blown up. Just like it did right there, Ralphie going in because he—I don't know if he thought that dash stack was gonna kill right there, but he was just throwing it up because he knew Dill was gonna go for a monkey flip or go for an aggressive option really quick, like a burst option to get back onto the stage. But there was a meaty fusion swords waiting for him, and that's gonna be game number one going to Ralphie. When Dill had—I I would want to say Dill had a lot of the momentum that entire game, but then Ralphie just kind of took it back, took it, took it from the the horns, you know. Dill looks deflated. Do, do we have an air pump in the venue? Does he? Is it, I think do you think his shirt's a little, little big? I think the shirt's a little big. I think his shirt's a little big. I think he, he's sticking it's around. It's cold outside, man. Let him, let, let him be guess, warm. I guess, but... It is brick outside. Yeah, he's like half brick. It's like tolerable. I can only barely see my breath. Fair. No, you got me there. All right, here we go. Back to town and city. Dill wants that run back. Because this stage honestly benefits both characters. Not only do they have the small blast zones, obviously, they have the platforms for Ralph to jump off of. When the platforms go away, it turns into a good stage for Dill with the FD. So it's like a, it's, it's kind of like a stage warp, honestly, when you think about it. It's, it's hilarious because this stage, I would say, takes a lot of the extremes of the legal stages in Smash 4, and it sort of melds them into one coherent beast. And now on top of that, it also has quite a few of its own quirks. The fact that it has small blast zones means stocks are ending relatively earlier. Uh, the platforms can have a hand in ending someone's life a little bit earlier, as me and Rick brought up early, uh, earlier in the stream. And just like you mentioned, the fact that it is morphing throughout the, the stage leads to a very interesting dynamic to who can control the stage and how. Good deal. It's the down tilt. Misses the forward smash as the follow-up. Like was a little bit too angry He actually that. connected a finishing touch. That was a great call-out coming from Ralphie. Recognizing the air dog is going to fall right into the platform. Had the down be ready to go. Killing him at 75%. You know, I was going to see how long I can go without mentioning that Ralphie usually doesn't get those, but he's been he, proving he, me he wrong lately. It. He got it. Dude, like, I mean, if you're going to do him the last one, might as well do it. That could very well be the last time he's got to use it. And Ralphie's sitting at 150%. Literally a down tilt away from death. Heck, a grab could kill him. Yeah. Banana peel as well. Banana peel could easily confirm into a down tilt or an up smash. Just gonna throw that banana peel upwards just to get Ralphie off that platform. At this point, Dill could just be patient, wait for the platforms to go away, forcing Ralphie to get back down on the stage. But he wants to go to that stock now. Yeah, honestly, I don't think Dill can afford to let the clock burn any more than he really needs to. Uh, mind you, I, I'm not expecting a time. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. It's only been two minutes. But he confirmed that into a ledge attack. Okay. Okay, Ralphie's going back to those platforms. Trying to charge some limit. The pressure. Nice Definitely knows problem. about the confirms off the field. Of course, this is going into another topic I brought up earlier, where it's like you fight any item character, any of them, be they Mega Man, Diddy Kong, even Bowser Jr. You have to be aware of what your character can do with those items, and assuming you're using it against the spawner. But yep. Dill knows what he can do with Banana. He can get his confirms. Yeah, Dill. He's, he's sitting kind of bleeding. Yeah, the thing is, Dill confirmed that kill at like 180%, a little bit too much damage. So now Ralphie's pretty much going to get his limit here. Dill's got to make a move. Ralphie's got the advantage in terms of set score. Just literally like one up air away from setting him up for greatness. Trying to dodge an appeal, picks it back up. Great item play coming from Ralph. He's just so aware of what Banana can do to turn the tides of this match. Like, Ralphie's sitting on a fairly hefty lead. But Dill can turn that around very quickly, especially given the percentages that are on board. 89 is not too terrible for Dill, and he's not having any issue with getting in his hits here or there. Okay, playing patient again. It's He does have time. There's plenty of time this time around, obviously. He can just wait for the platforms to go away. There's no reason for him to approach. Bill's got, look, look what happened. The second he approached him, got, him, got a little bit antsy with that dash grab. Good spacing from Ralphie. Gets the trump into a back air, and Ralphie's going to take Dill out of the bracket. Moves on to loser semis. And that's going to be Dill's Smash 4 career. He's dying it out. I don't believe that's fifth place fifth tonight. Fifth place. All right. Uh, but you know what? We, we got to talk about the highs for Dill. Like, my man has won how many Zenos in the past, like, three months? Like, has to be at least ten. Like that, we that, had to rename a, a month after. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure he lost like three Zenos in the past few months. Like he's won back-to-back -back Zenos, so that's like 
You gotta give him like a round of applause for Absolutely. that. So, like, at the end of the day, if we had like a PR going for like this last, uh, do we have a PR going for this, Devin? For the last section of Smash Four? Hangman is right next to you. Oh, yeah, Are you in charge of that? Yes. So it's like, oh, okay, that's the only time I hear about it. It's a bad press. Let's yeah. jump into this winner's finals. Now, I'll see. I was saying this a little bit earlier. Tell me. But I'm very excited about this particular match. And King why is that? Ar King Ark and Juice are fantastic pilots of their characters. And it's very rare that we get to see these two characters do get out at this particular level of play. We don't often get to see Mega Man and Zero Suit just because they don't occupy the same region. It just happens yeah. to be that there's not a lot of Mega Mans where there's a lot of Zero Suits. Yeah, we get a lot of uh, me, me Gunners in Winter's Finals. Yep. But when you're fighting Juice, <laughs> you get a lot of stock sounding like that. Yeah, I mean, that's the classic, you know, Juice coming in hard. Listen, he likes those New York dollars. He's looking to walk away with them. Mm -hmm. A good spacing with that neutral air trying to just apply some shield pressure. Doesn't want to commit to the third swing of jab. Trying to read that tech roll. He, he actually ducked that. He was trying to actually avoid the back air, but because he's in the middle of crouching, he didn't get sent anywhere. It's like, kind of like an after effect. Yeah, dodge that metal blade. Also, for what it's worth, Mega Man's third hit of back air is angry downwards. So, crouching? Good idea. I yeah. like it. It's smart. Would it have worked? No. Try to go for the double back air off stage. King Ark sees it coming. Just mashes that R button, get the air, gets the air dodge out of the way. Hell, it's coming out. King Ark looking for a trump. Juice sees that there might be a possibility. Ops to go for a ledge roll. Good setup. That's going to kill. kill. Yep, very fast-paced matches. Typically what we don't see out of uh, King Arc. So, Juice definitely has the wheel. Definitely driving this thing out of control. King Arc, I don't know if we'll be able to bounce back after that. That was a very convincing game one. The thing about Zero Suit is that she is just such a rushdown character sometimes. She can just get in your face and rack up tons of damage. But the problem with her is that she needs to rely on jumps to get any of her combos her, which you saw. She got neutral air, led into a back air. Up air, leads into more up airs, into a eventual boost kick. Like, that's like, most of her stuff is gonna be her committing to the jump. I think that's something that King Arc needs to start to capitalize on. I feel like a, an issue in this matchup in particular is that Mega Man does a decent job of covering the air, but he's more attuned to uh, capturing zone on the ground. And if he has to do something in the air, it's a hard commitment. Mega Man using his jump means a lot. And Zerus is the kind of character that can really abuse a character without their jump, especially considering how linear Mega Man's recovery is. Yeah, get that. Literally, Deja Vu is hitting everyone at home and us. That was the exact same ending of the first stop. Neutral Air seems to be the name of the move. Just a great combo starter all around. All right, this might be a bit preemptive, but uh, I need to phone a friend on this one. Devin, if Juice wins tonight, Zeno, is he a new champion? Yeah. All right. What a way to all do of it! A sudden, what I'm a right. way to do it! He's in grand! All Juice. of a sudden, we might be looking at the new champion. Oh, winner is okay. Zero, so like, good set, good set, good set, good set. Good so set, good set. those at home, Juice has never won a Zeno for Smash Four. This is literally the last one, and he's sitting pretty in Grand Finals. I know we all like fun size mini, but can we just like? <laughs> all right. So I just want <laughs> this actually makes it even more hype. So I have a timer that that thing goes out after five minutes, which means Juice That's is just set. actually just erasing. Quick. Oh my god! Oh no! My man exploded! This is the second time it happened, and it was a Juice match. Oh, juice god. OD. I right, here's something to cheer you up. We got Ralphie and Fury. Oh, uh, this is gonna be hype. <laughs> this is to determine who fights King Arc. This is loser semis. This is top four guys. We're the last four competitors, as you know. You know, of course, the Falcon makes it into the top five. Now, a matchup we used to watch all the time was Ralphie has played with Nick C constantly. And they actually just did like a fest the other night, too. So, like, they definitely, he knows how to fight Captain Falcon, and we're going to see him exhibit such skill today. Up uh, Barry, no, Shaw up over a really great combo starter for Cloud, allows him to get tons of damage against Captain Falcon. Cloud has, like, all the tools in the world to make this matchup feel more comfortable than Jari at the cast. Because Falcon just gets away with a lot of things. But Cloud could get away with. <laughs> Criminal activity. My man's in the going first to 45 jail. seconds. Find him. Up air and deliberate climb hazard. No Killing off zone. the top. You can't be a little climb hazard. Killing like that. Okay, again, you know, Ralphie is just dancing around Fury's shield. That was a really grim first stock, and I feel like it's indicative of what this, this set could end up being. Even though Fury's had a fantastic run tonight. It's got to come to a stop eventually. Oh, That's no. That's it. That's it. That, what an incredible edge guard. 
come from Ralphie. I don't know about you, but I'm thinking the way that Ralphie's been playing all day today, he is on course to win this thing. I think he'll actually get to grand finals, double reset against Juice. That is like, that. That'd that's my okay. thought right now. Like, Juice sent him to losers, but he could make that run back. I, oh man, it, it hurts to guess because it's like new champion on the horizon potentially. But but then Ralphie House coming back. Wins. Yeah, co Ralphie coming back, dude. That's a, that's something I want. I, I want to see. Uh, literally all four of these players, I want to see win. Like I, that I, would I, be I'm that yo, guy. I'm that guy. Can we just make yo, them all? Dark win? horse pick where Fury wins. Zeno? You know? Just do a four player free for all. Oh no. no, no, not that. That's not just time, right? That was yeah. That's that's like. College Smash Tournament rules. Yeah. Oh nice. no! Darkest timeline is approaching quickly. Nice. Probably did three percent and decided that ah, that's enough. That was good. <laughs> incredible gameplay coming from Ralphie. Got the edge guard coming out of the So what happened there was Ralphie did a jump off the ledge up air, which if he goes onto the stage is safe, or if he has limit he can spend it to get back to the edge. But neither of those things were true, so he just kind of died. If you short hop into the blast zone, it is unsafe. Yeah. Might have been playing a little bit too much of another game, but whatever. A little bit. Um, now that being said, he uses double jump. I think. Okay, yeah. The Fury's definitely gonna have to go back to the ledge as fast as possible. Fury's like one of the worst players for you to drop a stock that early to as well. Like, uh, Fury has not been in control this entire stock, and yet Ralphie's still sitting with 73% built up onto him. Yeah, I mean Falcon hits, hits him a couple times. He's gonna rack up a ton of damage, but he got him. Caught him swinging. Living Break Cross Slash coming out with his name on it. Now Fury just needs to not get antsy. Manage his kill confirm and we're sitting at a game three yeah. potentially. Fury just needs one up air or one grab. A back air could do it. A back air could do it. A back air could do it. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, that was it. a. Let's, let's think of all the ways we can describe that back air, Joe. Nice. Uh, it was. It was nice. Well placed. It was well timed. It was indubitably a wunderbar, fantastic, phenomenal, fan, uh, outstanding, majestic. It was alright. It was nice back here. Right, Town and City again, game three. I mean, this is like the favorite stage for you know, this in my is, opinion. I feel like everyone goes here. This is the New York stage. Like everyone always talks about how yes, yeah, Smashville is the the Smash Four pick. But this is the stage I feel like has seen the most usage. Because people explode. Yes. Everyone knows you're gonna die. Yeah, everyone knows you're gonna disintegrate. Just hurry up a little bit. We got the sh short hop up airs leading into the giant chain. Didn't have the platform down there to help him out. You try to do something sneaky with that cross up. I'm gonna miss characters being able to run through each other. You're gonna miss what? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a thing that that is not happening really. I think you'll get used to it. Oh, players will get used to it. It's just it's so strange because it's such a like it's such a viable option with so many characters, especially some characters like Captain Falcon. But can, we, can we talk about how Fury just stood there? He was just like Ralphie, you're gonna swing. He's waiting for the ultimate. The thing is, Fury had a good idea going for that forward smash because it would have covered three options. But Ralphie knew that that was coming. Catches him with the hilt of his sword and is one stock away from moving on to losers finals. Trying to slide into that shield, not gonna work out. Off stage. Falcon up there, good, but not that good. Not able to contest the down air from the cloud. However, without limit. Fury not able to take advantage of the situation. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of uh, down tilts coming out from Ralphie. Kind of unorthodox, honestly. He knows it's going to be a way just to pop them up, just to stop any momentum they have. Even if he doesn't capitalize on it and get himself uh, a combo of his own, he's still curbing anything that his opponent has been able to do. He caught him with the very last hit of down air, or like, that, like it was active for the very last frame. Avoiding that Raptor boost. Ralphie either knew it was coming or was just short hopping for the heck of it. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of him being mobile and it was just a really opportune moment for him. Sitting at that magical percent, will Ralphie close it out? <laughs> Trying to apply some shield pressure. Me thinks a finishing touch could maybe be in order? Nah, well, probably not. I want to see a limit cross slash. Ralphie I just don't want to see Blade beam. Yeah. I feel like that never works out for Ralphie. It depends. You know, like if he's gonna use it as a way to recover, like that, it bought him some time. Even though it didn't connect, it bought him some time to grab onto the ledge. But now, he's no limit, has to go for the ledge. He tried to outspace that as far as possible, but Fury's down tilt was coming with a vengeance. 
Last stock. Who's going home with fourth place? Here he's got to make these connections count. He reads the roll, tries to turn things around. He's going to go for it, but misses the down tilt. Okay, great read coming from Ralph. He connects the grab. Here's going to double jump to escape any sort of follow up. Has him off stage limit, ready to go. Down tilt, no jump. Very Go, it's the Trump back it, air. My boy Ralphie moving on to Losers Finals, taking away Fury. Fury's final Xeno for Smash 4, ending out at fourth place. A very well placed placing at that. He definitely earned his way this far. And he came so close to turning that around on Ralphie, but Ralphie it just clenched it down. Twitter, and it was like, yeah, nothing's working. Have fun, expect the ways. The city just, just <laughs> falls apart. Here we go, Mega Man fighting off against Klein. Now, this can kind of be a rough matchup for Mega Man. It can be, but we've seen King Ark be able to play effectively around earlier when Ligon played uh, Mega Man into him. And I feel like that showed a little bit of King Ark's hand as to what he's gonna do in this matchup in particular. We saw a good amount of uh, Metal Blade piece in a way that it's like, King Ark's gonna have it in his hand, yeah, that's part of the game plan, but he uses a lot more with the reversing for repositioning off the ledge. And coming off ledge is gonna be a huge factor of this match for King Ark, because I feel like once Ralphie does find himself an advantage, he's not gonna have an issue with forcing King Ark into an unfavorable position on Battlefield. Speaking of favorable of a position, he that got him sick. with the windshield. What the heck? He actually gives him when he had limits. Limit means nothing. Oh Wait, no! Wait, hold on. Leaf shield, footstools. They, they're still <laughs> alive and well. Oh, I love watching King Ark play. Honestly, I love watching both these guys play, but I'm so biased for Mega Man, and that's just one of like. The cheesiest kills you can see. Yeah. Don't see it too often, I'll tell you that much. No, especially not against someone like Ralphie. Oh my god, did you see Ralphie just charge up that forward smash? Oh. That was really good TI from Ralphie, too. Uh, I think you mean uh, hit stun shuffle? Uh. Well, that's another thing I can't wait for. All of the dumb names we come up for, for game mechanics. Oh yeah, I love it. Here we go, limit, ready to go. And I don't think Ralphie knew that he had the blade in that moment. He's still holding on to it, but he's already tagged on so much damage. He's gonna have to like climb up a rock. He maybe manages to get this kill. But he's got him off stage with no limit. All and just like that, game one's gonna go to King Ark in spectacular fashion. Absolutely nothing for Ralphie to do to get back to the stage. He was just the second he got sent that trajectory, and he had the metal blade ready to go. His stock was sealed. Yo, just as fast as that game one went, did you see how quick that Lilac Band was? King Ark's not having any of that stage. It's like, I don't want the stage here, I don't want the stage in Ultimate, just get it out of my face. Town and City, yet again, a comfort pick for Ralph. But also a good stage for Cloud. It's, it gives him platforms to charge limit on, and it also has small blast zones for people to explode at like 70%. True, however, I feel like this is a stage that's going to invite a lot of free percentage onto Ralphie because King Ark won't be as pressured when he puts out his projectiles. He's able to shark with up air very well and it's incredibly dangerous on this stage, especially if he catches on that particular platform, the middle one as it rises. Like given the blast zones of this stage and how early up air can kill, I feel like this is a risky pick from Ralphie. A good one, but a risky one. He just has to be mindful of the fact that Mega Man does not care for this stage. He will explode anyone. Yeah. Ooh, catches it with the back air. Has him off stage yet again. Trying to mix it up. Mega Man has that weird mechanic where he can actually double jump after the up B, so he can mix up his recovery so well. Good cross up coming from Ralphie. Just poking him with the neutral air. There he goes, dances around the shield again, spacing out the forward air, catches the back air, recognizing he was gonna go for an attack. Ralphie taking away the first stock. There's only so many options Mega Man can put out all at once. And, oh, that was a big commitment for the down air. That yeah. ended horribly. In fact, it gets still in horribly. But Ralphie just sending home a message with that forward air onto the ledge, gets the spike afterwards, tries to go for another spike with the down air. Oh, King Ark, looks like he's struggling to find some sort of footing. Yeah, just give him a quick chuck. Throw yeah. your problems down. Exactly. Holding down so he actually hits King Ark with the upbeat. I swear to God, if Ralphie hits him one more time with a forward air, 
Okay, up bearing through his own down air. <laughs> and that's not gonna be enough to kill. However, setting that deep off stage. Oh, I'll think to recover high. King Arthur thought he might go for a fast fall. It's a 50-50 at that point. And that's probably one of the best aspects of the stage <laughs> cloud and chasing yeah. after cloud oh, off the top is bro. not safe, my guy. Bro, why are you doing that? I get why he did it. He was trying to set up an up berry, want to get the tornado kill, but that was just so dangerous. Ralphie stealing that kill away with a two stock. But yeah, we'll see if it was the stage or just momentum, because now we're going to Smashville. We got stage variety going on today. One animal crossing stage to the next. This I feel is a smarter pick as far as stages go. Although we've seen time and time again that Ralphie can make excellent use out of this stage. He does a great job of both sharking the platform to take control of it away from his opponents, as well as being able to hold the platform very well in his own right. Mind you, King Arc can do this very well too. And the fact that a lot of Mega Man's pressure is more lateral than it is vertical lends itself more to Smash Bros. The town and city. Yeah. I just feel like King Arc's got to figure out a way to just keep on curbing Ralphie's momentum. Because in game one, yeah, Ralphie was able to you know, pressure King Arc very well, but it was in small bursts. Game two is entirely Ralphie's dance to leave. Yeah, and Ralphie's getting hit by a lot of these uh, projectiles trying to uh, get through King Arc's shield there. Uh, I feel like maybe there should be a little bit more walking coming from Ralphie to just try to deal with the projectiles a little bit safer. But it doesn't matter, he's got him off stage. Do exactly what he's going to be. He saved his double jump, I still think. Nope, he's back on stage. And now we're just chilling. Yeah, we're just schmoovin'. Like, Ralphie's trying not to let up his foot pressure. Yeah, King Arc's back on the stage, but so long as Ralphie stays as mobile as he is, he's always going to be able to threaten. And threatening with Limit Cross Slash, definitely the way. Unsafe pellets. Because Ralphie was able to just cross slash right through it. The second he saw that first shot go off, that was just a reaction. Now he's one stock away from moving on to Grand Finals. King Arc, will he go down with third place? He still has an opportunity to take this back. Having Cloud at 86 and counting gives him a good enough opportunity to try and sweep this away. He just has to be very safe with this stock. He can't afford a lot of percentage build up. Like, we're sitting at 8% now? Yeah, that's kind of fine. Any more than that? No. Try to get that mind back on him. Good. That was a great setup coming from King Art. Forced him onto the ledge and then got the follow up Trump. Gives that back here. Final stocks to go. King Art's not out of the fight just yet. Yeah, no, and as I was saying earlier, he did a good job of keeping the percentage off him. However, he back. jumped at the wrong time, and now look at him. We're slicing him up. That was just great ledge trapping coming from Ralphie. You saw him corner in there. He had, he had no option but to go for a roll or a jump. Ralphie called out the jump and just got so much damage off of that singular up air. Good grab out of the, in the middle of the cross slash. Yeah, power shielding the first hit and just waiting for his opportunity to strike back. That went through his feet. Yeah. Is it because he dashed and Cloud's feet don't touch the ground when he dashes? Crash Bomb's just not a good projectile. Yeah, you're right. It's like... Back air. Ooh! Trump back air again. He's got his jump. He's coming back. Cross slash. He's, th he's thinking about it. He's got to be super careful with those double jumps. That's like begging to get sent off stage and lose his limit. When he needs now more than ever to hang on to it. King Arc playing super safe. He has the projectiles ready to go. Throws the belly back at him. Ooh, that was a bit risky of a recovery, but jumping off the ledge is what's going to be sealing his fate. King Arc ends off the last smash. Ralphie played right. super calm there. He waited for him to go to the ledge, uh, let go of ledge and to jump in again. Another unsafe option against a Cloud who has limit, just waiting for an opportunity to throw out Cross Slash. Sorry, that was Ledge Jump, but still, just he got... Let, the Cross Slash covers so many different options on the Ledge, that Ledge Jump. You, you know, when you're on the Ledge against it, it can just be kind of tough to deal with, but hey, King Arc going down, third place finish, like you said, my man for the final tournament. We are now, guys, entering. Right. But uh, I was here for the whole, the whole time, back when my name was Trent. I, I my what? username my username was Trent from 2014 to the early 2015. Then I I switched that up real fast because that was the name I yeah I was gonna it. say I came up with that name when, like in middle school. So also I, given given your your friendship with uh, Cameron yeah Cameland yeah rest in peace Cam 
Yeah. I, I, I think this piece only in California, man. Let's end this with style, man. Corn versus Bayonetta. What the hell <laughs> am I looking at? <laughs> what kind of style are we trying to end it? I could not tell you. Munal, thanks for the sub, man. Oh. I miss Mo you, dude. Munal, not like a funnel. Oh. But we funnel in stocks down so the So Ralphie like just completely <laughs> disintegrated Juice's stock there with the down smash. It wouldn't be a smash four if we didn't end this with Bayonetta. So let's just get it over with. Let's jump into it. I would actually love that kind of an ending because New York it, No, is, same. I, it's fitting. New York is a very strange region in that Bayonetta is an oddly underrepresented character. Yeah, like there. Ralphie and Jen's secondary though. And that's most of the representation as far as the city goes. Long Island has quite a number of Bayonettas, but... They don't perform nearly as well as Ralphie and Jen. And then the city has, and I always forget his tag because he switches it so often, but the city has its own Bayonetta. And there's a couple players upstate. But overall, that's enough Bayonettas you can count on your hands. Yeah. Meanwhile, we have more Yoshis than we'd like to talk about. <laughs> and a Escape Finnegan. from Yoshi's Island. Dude. There's no escape. Listen, man, if everything I know about the next game is true, we're returning very shortly. All right, so we got ourselves a pretty close match here. Both opponents have high percents on their final stocks. Juice representing Corrin, Ralphie on the Bayonetta. Unorthodox picks, but well practiced nonetheless. Ooh, he almost got caught by that forward smash. This could be a potential edge guard. He's going super deep for that neutral air. He didn't need he to. He was do dead! It. He was wow. dead! And now you're dead! Yo, sick edge guard, man. Bit unfortunate, but Juice gonna take game one. Alright. Uh you know, we mentioned this briefly in the previous game, but uh Grants is the best of three. So, yeah, so Ralphie cannot Ju afford to be thrown. Juice. Oh, what's up, Juice? You know, you know he'll be home soon. He will be so soon. Hey. Let's go. We'll see you soon, dude. But uh, yeah, this is Juice's one game away. Oh, and winning, let's not mess around winning, more. For winning right. the finals, you know, uh, Ralphie going right back to Cloud. He started with Cloud, he's going to finish with Cloud. Like I was saying earlier, we're either granted uh, House defending the title one last time or a new champion. Either crayons or glue, man. <laughs> Just trying to get that up tilt. He's resetting the situation. Yeah, down tilt is going to be that great combo start for him to connect some up airs on that platform. Good spacing with that back air. Trying to land away. That down air 8 went through both of those swings from Dragon Fang shot. Just a big sword. And also, two quite terrible moves. Like, yeah, there's a paralyzer effect on Dragon Fang shot, but. That was a good side B from Juice. It forced him to go for an air dodge, so he had to go, you know, spend his limit to get back to the stage. Yeah, while the character might not be nearly as polished as Zero Suit, the mindset is still there, and Juice is a very smart player. Yeah, he can translate. Good side B coming from Juice, actually killing him from across the stage, Ooh. one stock away from Juice winning the final Zeno, winning his first Zeno to boot against Ralphie. Ralphie's not going down without a fight, sends him flying. Still is in this game. Ralphie has lost game one before to past opponents and then brought it back. <laughs> that town air sent him. If he didn't save his double jump, I swear Juice would be dead. This is really awkward. Like, yeah, Juice came back, but still he's getting pressure to high hell by Ralphie. All of a sudden, all that momentum Juice brought into this grand final just seems sapped away. <laughs> It's like Bayonetta was not the answer. It was Cloud Strife. That shield looking super weak. He had to move. And the last hit's gonna be picking off, but will it secure the kill? No, it won't. That cross slash was such a trap. Oh, top of that up tilt. No, he playing patient. I'm curious as to why Juice picked into the Probably to stay against Bayonetta. Maybe. Possibly. Could be a comfort pick. We saw so earlier in the bracket that Ralphie had lost to, uh, to Juice's zero suit. So. Either way, we're finding ourselves in a position where we very well like, may see a game three. Especially if Ralphie continues this aggression. Yeah. Power Tilt's gonna secure it. You are just mentioning aggression, man. I saw all that Not shield pressure is. whittling down. This, he spaced out the forward air, so he gave him plenty of space to immediately throw out the forward tilt in case he tried to retaliate with anything. Because that's what Clouds want. Clouds want you to act out of shield. 
That's like their entire gameplay. They want you to go for a grab out of shield. They want you to, they want you to go for a tilt or a jab or something out of shield so they can then punish it because they can hit your shield for free. Going into game three, I'm trying to think about this now. Stage-wise, Smash feels the band, and I feel like it's a really smart band from Ralphie. Counted City is the pick. All right. Sort of like forced his way into this one though, I feel. Because if he picked into any other stage, like Cloud would have no issue with contesting. Okay, Ralphie, one game away from setting, resetting this bracket. Can he do it? I think he can. Just to put it bluntly, I feel like at the rate that Ralphie is going now with this Cloud running on all cylinders, like he's not looking to give this Grants away for free. Oh, the champ of Pistol Lane, that's cute. Yo, even on this game's deathbed, everyone's got their little tricks to pull out. Yeah. I mean, if there's any time to do it, it's now here in Grand Finals. Game three for the reset. There's nothing left to hide. You saw Corny going for a lot of down tilts. Down tilts being such a great combo fighter for her. It allows her to connect that into an up tilt and some aerials as well. I think it's a certain higher percent. Trying to bait out that air dodge. Trying to just see if... Ralphie just wants to feel how Juice will react to certain actions. Tries to get the spike afterwards. Dragon Ascent is particularly difficult to punish in that regard. It's it just sends it a it's a strange angle with an odd disjointed hitbox. And it's just weird. So again, just trying to space out the back airs again. Now one thing in particular I like about Ralphie's play in this moment is that he's not trying to fish for a reason to use his limit. But of course limit blade beam. As you play. say <laughs> Man, I hate when he uses limit blade beam. Sometimes it works, sometimes he just dies. That junk doesn't do anything for him. Now he's sitting at 129. Dash tag, never mind, is going to be able to delete that stock. Final life for both players. You know, barring no more questionable bleed beams, I feel like Ralphie still had this. This is a very confident first stock for Ralphie. He had no issue bringing up the uh, percentage. And yeah, Juice was able to trade in his own merits, but overall it was more like Ralphie was able to dictate that first stock, and Juice is looking to turn that around. Ooh, trying to get that follow up afterwards. Good catch, recognizing the jump, had to retaliate with a down air instead. Baits out the grab. Tries to go for the trump, but Juice saw it coming, goes for the ledge jump instead. This could be big! Yeah. Gets the neutral air into the confirmed back air. We have a bracket reset. Of course we go to true finals. There is no truest finals than this. The end all be all final set. Big end. True ending. Final. We have finally con did everything for the past four years. <laughs> we picked Led the right up to options. this moment. We finally did the right path. We did the right timeline. Everything's set to get the, the true end. But which one's the true end? Is it Ralphie winning or Juice winning? Well, it remains to be seen as we go right into it for game one of the true finals. And in this true ending, we have unlocked Juice's main. Zero Suit out, fresh into the field, looking to fight off against Ralphie's Bayonetta, who he's opting to start the set with once again. Now, the reason Ralphie wanted to start with Bayonetta here, because it is technically a double blind pick when you restart a set, he originally went Bayonetta in that previous set because he didn't want to fight Zero Suit Samus with Cloud. Then when he saw that he was going corn, he's like, okay, I'm just going to go to Cloud then. So now that there's a bracket where he says, okay, you're going to pull out your main now that you have a bracket, this is the final bracket. So that's why he opted to go for the Bayonetta chair of choice. That's just my theory at least. And the sound theory at that. And for what it's worth, this matchup in particular is incredibly volatile, regardless of the fact that there might be a disparity of the uh, skill behind each character, with Juice being on his main and Ralph being on his a little bit less practiced secondary. This could still end out in anyone's way. Like, Bayonetta has no issue taking stocks off of Zero Suit, and Zero Suit has no issue pulling the trigger. Yeah, Juice is a solid opening, dashed up, went for an up B. Now he gets a lot off of down tilt. Good ending to a bit of a flub combo. Down at least would have covered a little bit of where Juice yeah. moved or just... Uh, Cover some options with that down air. Yeah. The afterburner kick coming out to lead into that eventual back air. I'll be putting a point on the board. Now sitting at these lower percentages is typically where Juice runs away with the stock. So we'll see what he can do here. 
Gets himself back to stage. Ralphie now sitting at 60%. Coming off the ledge here, I feel like this is still not too bad of a situation for Ralphie. If he still finds his way out of the danger zone of Juice once he starts looking for those kills, at any point, Ralphie can turn it around. Lucky does start to, he does need to start looking for a uh, beginning to combos of his own, whether they're for reversals or if they're just connecting the right hits while on stage. Ooh. Platform moving in actually ruined things for Juice a little bit. Of course, a bit of an option select because the down beat kick would not have done him anything. He's going to get something there, though. Yeah, definitely forced him to recover that way. There we go. Game number one going to Juice again. This the start of the previous game as well. Will we see a character swap from Ralphie? The, possibly his final character swap. What's he going to do? A lot's riding on this. Well, I'll add out of the, the picture. The cloud kick yeah. is almost assured. Cloud. And I can see us going to Town and City. And that's where we'll be going. Potentially last match of Smash 4 in this building on stream. Can Ralphie bring it back against Juice's Zero Suit? That is the question on everyone's mind. And they're just dancing around each other until he finally finds that opening with a short hop up air. Bit of evasive movement, but things end well in Ralph's favor. It's all a matter about like how often is he going to be able to set up for the situation, keep Juice in the juggle, keep him bleeding. Because we've seen how easily Juice can rack up damage. It just happens. You mess up once, if you don't lose your stock, you're coming back a heavily bruised. Right there, Ralphie went for a double jump because if he would have committed to an air dodge, Juice would have been played patient and got the kill afterwards. So give the call out from Ralph. Okay, still guys, back onto the stage. And do that reverse neutral air to try to lead into a cross slash. Or at the very least, just curb some of this pressure. Forced to use his limit to come back. Pretty sure he uses jump. Yeah. He got, he he got covered popped it. off. And he's doing a lot of holding down during climb hazard to go through the ledge in order to just try to catch his opponent. Yeah, putting out that hitbox there. It might not be the best of hits, but if it's going to stop Juice from putting out the down smash or hitting him in any way to check that recovery to stage, he's going to extend that stock, and he has to go for everything he can here. Catches him out of the down air. A brave soul one stock away. Can Juice pull this off? Ralphie needs to end out this stock quickly. Otherwise, Juice can make fantastic use of this rage and end out the night. It all starts with that first hit. Yep. Gets the stun. This could be big for Juice. Up and air. Gets the platform as well. But Ralphie retaliating with a down air at the very last moment. The boldest of aerials. In that situation, Juice potentially could have reversed with the up beat. Could have ended it right then and there. The grab into the boost kick is going to send off Smash 4 at Xeno with Juice as your new champion and your final champion. That thing I said was going to happen, happened. Look it did, that. yeah, look that. you got that letter. Okay. There it is. Go for it again. Oh, look, reset, cute reset. The final. And bring him yeah. downtown. The final kill. It's over.